Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Halloween is almost upon us, which means it's time for the internet to find things to be offended about. Well, that's every day. So, yeah, right. <laughs> What's another month? So I know, now, right? So now there's a lot of conversation, online conversation about the word spooky. Should we be allowed to use the word spooky? Yes, because the word by definition doesn't mean what you're saying it means. Because it's been used as a slur in the, the distant past. I mean, we're this talking why, yeah. 50s. This is why intent matters. If you are intending to use it as a slur, you're an asshole. If you're using it as the actual meaning of the word, as most people would use it, then you should be allowed to use the word. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, if you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! Uh, we, we intend to spook you here on on Clownfish TV because mm -hmm. it's spooky time. You're already ready. You've got all your, your spooky decorations oh, up. Oh, I've, I've had them up since the middle of last month. Yeah. Woohoo, it Halloween. It's like, look, a leaf fell. It's, it's time for the Halloween decorations. It's spooky. I did it before spooky. leaves fell. Spooky. Yeah, that's right. She did. <laughs> she is all about and the Halloween. And it's all haunted mansion outside. I was like, yeah. It is. Uh, she's all you about the Halloween. You know what? The Haunted Mansion, just change the subject for just one second. Everybody had a fit about the Haunted Mansion. And they're like, oh, I didn't go see it because, you know, whatever reason. And now they're watching it to see Plus. Like, oh, my gosh, this movie's really good. And I was like, you don't say. I told you it was a, it was, it was a pretty good movie. Yeah, it was it, shockingly competent. And um, it was like, you know, I mean, it has issues. Don't, it's not, it's not yeah, not it perfect, has some issues. But, it's, it, but was, it wasn't a bad movie. And these people wouldn't go. And now they're like, oh, my gosh, I wish I'd gone to the theater. It's like, well, you know, I told you guys it wasn't a bad movie. I, I think what happened with this was people are so used to Disney disappointing. that when they they actually to Disney Plus because they want to spend the money. Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, this wasn't like a marquee. Plus, they released a, a Halloween movie in the middle of the summer. You know, like that, that wasn't very smart, but back to this, back to this. So yeah, apparently the word spooky is problematic. We're going to think of Disney as spooky, scary skeletons. And they actually have like specials with it. Yes. But for how much longer? Well, this is stupid. It doesn't mean that it might have been, people might have dumb insensitive assholes might have used that for that purpose decades ago, but it's not what it meant originally. It's not what it means now. And I'm tired of hearing this. It's, it, you know, it's like I said, intent matters. If your intent is to be insulting and be a racist tool bag, then you're the asshole. If your intent is to say, oh, spooky season, then you're completely not doing anything wrong and everybody else can get bent. So this came from uh, Kevin Bulk who is a, a long, hey, hey, Kevin. Yeah, long time friend of ours. Uh, hey, Kevin. And uh, he posted this. This is a content creator, Twitch content creator. I'm not familiar with her, but she said, gentle reminder. Yeah, they say gentle at first and then they get aggressive. Gentle reminder to all my content creator friends for October. Please don't use the word spook or, oh, we have to, we have to censor it because it's like using the, the C word or the F word. Don't use the word spook or spooky or sporky. Maybe oh. it's sporky. You don't spork know or that, sporky. But it's Spock. Well, if it's so Spocky. Spock. <laughs> it's Spocky. Boy, that guy's kind of cold and calculating. He's kind of Spocky. Uh, to don't use S Spunky. Spunky. <laughs> don't use spunk. Spacky. Don't use spunk or spunky. Spicky? Oh, we can't do that either. Uh, don't use that <laughs> to describe your theme celebrations. It's a slur. The end, no argument. No argument. No argument, argument here. Uh, Jen, is her name? What is it? Jenis? Jen, Jen is, is. Jen is. Oh, it's not Jen, genus. It's not penis. <laughs> yeah, no, there's going to be an is. argument, Jen. There's going to be an argument, especially uh, since you're a fucking hypocrite, Jen. Well, yes. So as pointed out by King of the Bone Zone. I like that. Have you been to the Bone Zone lately? Is it spooky? Is it spunky? It might be spunky. <laughs> I'm not even answering that question. Uh, anyway. So, uh, couple of years ago we're live right now with some sp some spookies jump scare mansion that's the name of a game yeah and we're gonna be starting dead space tonight well wait a minute wait a minute jen you're not allowed to do that you're not allowed to play that game because that what happened was everybody jumped on her and now she's like i'm gonna i'm deflection <laughs> Sorry. Defle look at them oh god so let's talk about it because it's coming up again now because of course it is because people are probably hearing it 
uh, from Twitter yeah, or Facebook. Yeah, since when has that been used yeah. as a slur? But I want to point out something really quick. A lot of the same people who are saying don't use the word spooky, spooky are also the same people who think the Tinkerbell is okay to use yeah. or Latinx or whatever they're calling it. And they're going around using it even though people have been telling them. In like by the thousands, we don't like it. We find it offensive. Please don't call us that. And they double, triple down and keep calling them that. And then they're telling everybody else you can't use the word spooky. All right. So here's the article, right? You have to, you have to, you can't have fun. You have to keep in mind some people might be offended. As temperatures cool down and Halloween decor goes up, it seems fitting to call October spooky season. However, Hurtful connotations associated with the word raise questions of etiquette. No, it doesn't. It's, 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 it's all about intention. <laughs> Is it insensitive to say that you were spooked? According to NPR... Spook comes from the Dutch word for apparition or specter. Right. That's what it usually is. That's the definition. It was used in English around the turn of the 19th century. From uh, there on, the word lived a harmless life. But in World War II, white American soldiers started referring to their black counterparts as the S word. And then they had black army pilots at Tuskegee that were referred to as the S word Waffa. Um, (laughs) She's... Uh, once the word spook was linked to race, it wasn't long before it became a recognizable slur. Then, no one uses it in that way today, or not well, many, very few. They said that. They said sociologist Renee Blake told NPR the word isn't used too often in modern times, but there are a few recent examples tying it to racial implications. Actually, it people brought up Back to the Future. I'm like, yeah, Back to the Future was filmed in the 80s and it took place in the 1950s. And the word was used in the 1950s. I'm sorry, this example. There's a book in the movie, The Spook Who Sat By My Door. And it was a token black person hired by the CIA. I'm like... In 2000? Because, it, yeah, it did, and, there was, and, and, and it talks about a guy who's forced to resign after he calls two African-American students spooks. Oh, my God, but this is awful. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> uh, Target had to apologize for selling a Halloween toy called Spook Drop Parachuters. With a major black figure with orange parachutes. Okay, now that's dumb. That's stupid. That is stupid. I mean, it's like, you know, you, you know, but, the, but that just goes to show you, because as, as, as ridiculous as Target is, okay, and it's talking this a couple of years, you know, as ridiculous as Target is, they didn't even know that that was used as a, as a, as a slur, okay? And this is Target. This is Target. So it tells you that most people don't use it in that regard. And they haven't for, for use. There are so many words we don't use anymore. Or if we do, they mean something else. And they did like 70 years ago and no one cares. Yeah. Here, this, I can't even see this. It's basically little, but it's, I think they're black. Well, one, they were, they were probably made in China, but they're black and orange for Halloween and they're just cheap, cheap toys. But, uh, you know, we're going to find, but yeah, this is coming from NPR. This is a person, sociologist. She said, it's, uh, context. Be thoughtful. Exactly. It's it's How, intent. Yeah. Don't use it in that way. If someone says, "Did you get spooked?" and there are no black people there, then okay, you mean did you get scared or frightened? That's fine. I get it. <sighs> oh my god. But this, you know, when this first started coming up again, two years ago. This is the date. 2016, 2017 is when everybody oh, was looking for things to be offended by. Everybody was offended by everything. Now, I am very, very pale. And so is Pinky Boo. Like, practically, we glow in the dark practically because we're so fair skinned. And my next comment is, I mean, it's someone I can see someone calling me that because, you know, I oh, you scared me because you're like all spooky looking because you're so pale. I would not get offended. Oh, this person's like, it's more fun. Think of some other words. It's more fun to be aghast, blood curdled, or spine chilled than spooked. No. And then there's so many songs and shows and stuff that are now in trouble. There's so many games. You know, it's stupid. What the, I'm not going to repeat this. No, but no. Oh, my God. What the hell? Who would write that? But this again, is 2017. Same damn people who would be saying La Tinkerbell, even though people keep telling yes. them not to. Yes. It's the same type of person. And then, you know, they'll you keep using offensive words that somebody are actually offended by and tell them they have to accept it, even though they don't identify that way, just because they think it's you should have to use that word because they said so. Meanwhile, a word that actually most, like, I would say the majority of people don't even, uh, you know, connect to racism in any way, shape, or form because its actual meaning has nothing to do with racism, um, aren't allowed to use the word anymore because five people on Twitter are pissed about it. 
<laughs> stop trying to make fetch happen. <laughs> Pretty much. Yes. They're trying. Yeah. So the term was used back in the day and they want to, they basically want to reactivate the slur. Meanwhile, you know? the same people who are so offended about this word, call everybody a Nazi if they don't like a cartoon show or something they, they like. Yeah. yeah. And to me, that's way more offensive. Let's think about that. We are going to trivialize atrocities that occurred during World War II right to a certain group of people because because you don't like that somebody doesn't like some corporate product right. somebody doesn't like corporate disney star wars they are literally as bad as a nazi yeah like have you thought this through and the people that have been victimized by actual nazis probably don't find that amusing but yet you continue to do it you continue to do it. And you use the words people t tell you, I don't like that because, uh, you know, I don't like that. It offends me. Um, I, we don't like that in our culture. And you keep using it because, because you know, Twitter tells you you have to or you're offensive. And then, but but don't use the word spooky, guys. Did you? In context. Uh, there was a, a World War II vet and uh, he was in a wheelchair. He was, the guy had to have been obviously like 90s or something, but some some activist in Portland was calling him a Nazi uh, or something. And he was, he got up out of his wheelchair. He's going to beat the shit out of guys. Mm -hmm. Like I fought the Nazis. You son of a bitch. You know, it's like, it's fine. Men, men from World War II were like, you know, vastly, you know, tougher than people. They were men. But yes, uh, um, men but from World War II were I, men. I can tell you, and I've told, I've told this story before. Uh, my, I guess it'd be my great uncle uh, had to clean out one of the concentration camps. You would never, he would never stand by. And let, I mean, you couldn't call it anything worse than that. Like, that is like the worst of the worst, like the most awful people ever, according to, you know, him who who actually saw it firsthand. Okay. But not liking she means you're one of those people. Yeah, like, I know, right? But then they, get, they, they, get, they use it like it's nothing. And uh, then never mind all the people that died. Never mind how offensive it is to actual, you know, Jewish people. They're going to keep using it to dismiss anybody who doesn't like what they like. But don't use the word spooky, guys, because, you know, back in World War II, a couple people used it for something. And it doesn't mean that now. But yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It was like it was basically commandeered and used as a slur for a couple of decades, and nobody even thinks of it in that. Like, I don't think it was in a couple of decades. It was like a decade. Like a decade. And a half. And that they really had to reach it. Like this one book that nobody's read, that nobody's ever heard of, that was published like 20 years ago. they even used a different name for it when it was a movie. They probably did a search, like Google book search or something to find it. Oh, look, 20 years ago, somebody used it one time in a negative CIA, connotation. In regards to the CIA thing, they call, like, agents that were, like, you know, undercover spooks. They called them that for years. I mean, it's that – that's what they call them. But meanwhile, by all means, you know, keep – you know, you can't use the word spooky, but make sure you call everybody the Tinkerbell and then they tell you they don't like it. Oh, here – now, this is interesting. I did not know this. Spook is British slang for police. And they but use it for CIA people, too, yeah. like spooks. Like, yeah. They use it all the time. So, it's okay. It's slang for that. So you really could mess with these people and do like, okay, we're going to do a comic book called The Spook, and it's going to be a police officer who does bad things, but he's also called The Spook. You know, so who are you rooting for you here? You know, it's like, because you don't like the cops, right? But you, I don't know. I just, I can't even. I just, I mean, and again, at, at the end of the day, for all of this stuff, intent matters. You know, well, that's what they're saying. Even NPR, they're like, in 10 hours, you should be thoughtful of your surroundings. But I can't really say it's bad because technically it's not bad. And I don't want to look like a freaking moron because I'm supposed to be, you know, educated and never like a thing, you know. So, um, Most yeah. Most people don't even know why it's bad. Most people are like, why? No one's used it that way you know, in yours. And the thing is, we're older. So, I mean, we've heard it not being used like that ever other than being like, you know, people talked about how it was used. I, I will tell you, I have heard people in my my deceased grandfather's generation use the yeah, term. Yeah, but they were that's because they were how old? When he died, he was in his mid eighties. Okay, and that was ten years ago. So we're talking like how many decades ago people mm -hmm. used it in that? Right. So way. I'm just like saying, most people today are like they're like, what? I don't get it. What's wrong? That's what most of the comments are like. Why is that bad? Yeah. Because you know, a long time ago. A uh, word that we don't use it in that way now was used badly. So now you can't use it anymore because once upon a time it was used in a bad way. <laughs> so did it, doesn't Disney have like a Mickey spooktacular? Or they have a bunch of spooky things. 
Oh. They have they have like there's a bunch. Like, I mean, I know they had that one. That one uh, it was a Disneyland Halloween special because Squid King loved it, and yeah. they would sing spooky, scary yeah, skeletons, skeletons, you know, and all the time, <laughs> and no one cared because it didn't mean that anymore. It, it only meant it for like a short time, but prior to that, it meant what it means now. So now Disney, they'll they'll you know. Go oh, ahead. Yeah, they're and, kooky and spooky. Yeah, they they will change everything now because they had to take boys and girls out of the the firework announcements because it might offend people who don't identify as a boy or a girl, you know. And I'm like, well, that sucks for those service animals that are there. <laughs> they, they well, they might identify a boy or girl. Well, Never mind. Good boy, good girl. Never mind. Good boy, good girl. Well, if they're neutered, they might feel. Bad. Well, that's right. They might feel attacked. Yeah, like I don't have my parts anymore. But thanks, thanks for that. Anyway, are we done? I'm just done. It's just stupid. Why are we bringing... So every time I think we're done with the quote-unquote wokeness and that we're past it, well, no, it gets reactivated. Well, no, that's trying to find something to be mad about to keep it going. Stop trying to make woke happen. <laughs> stop trying to, yeah, stop trying to make this happen. This is stupid. Yes, it was used at one point in time in a bad way. 100%. Has it been used that way in decades? No! no. Other than by somebody who heard it from like another person from an older generation. And then, and because you put these articles out. Guaranteed. No one even knew what that meant or cared until you started putting the articles out. Now they're going to start using it again. But intent matters. If <laughs> Not, you're using it, and if using it as a shitty a slur, then you're the asshole. Oh my God. Now the ADL, the ACLU, whatever, they're going to all be like... They're like, oh my God, using the term spooky is an alt-right dog whistle. They're saying spooky while they do the okay, okay sign. Okay, I was going to say they're making the okay sign. It's spooky, okay? Oh my God, they're <laughs> literally killing people. All right, we, anyway, all right, let's wrap this up. Please, please do. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.